<laughs> okay, real talk. I need a makeup tutorial which shows me how to make my face look like my face again without anyone knowing that the previous night I had drunk a bar out of business. If you're a person that enjoys drunk nights out which you then suppress to the lower cortex of your brain, you will understand the situation. Being woken up by the sun on your face, which was once a loving warmth reminder that you were alive, now feels much more like Satan trying to enter your soul through your eyeballs. But before you venture into the world to retrieve various items of clothing and or belongings from various bars and locations around town, you need to make yourself look a little bit more presentable. Because people will point at you and children will run away. I can put on makeup hungover. That's, that is not the problem. The problem is that it's something, something shows. People know that it glows from inside your skin. So I've taken it upon myself to show you guys how to look human and not like a liver disease campaign and not like you just spent the last three hours asleep on your bathroom floor. I know, just, just got your back. This is how to make yourself look like a functioning member of society when you feel like shit. The first step is covering up the evidence. For this, you're gonna need a concealer, a foundation, paint, anything. I use a foundation called Conceal Don't Feel. And what you're gonna do is apply it liberally to bar stamps and bruises and various things you pick up on a night out that might give you away. At this point in the process, you're probably going to want to throw up. So now all you need to do is focus every muscle in your body to stop that from happening. If you're lucky, you might still have some makeup on left over from the previous night, so you can work that to your advantage. One useful tip if you need to reduce the look of bags on your eyes and bring attention away from the emotional baggage you bring to every relationship is to make everything above them much darker. So now your mother's probably calling you. And you really don't need to add to her personal list of failures and disappointments, so just hang up. Text her, you're out for a jog, call her later, kiss, sunglasses emoji. Take this time to suddenly remember all the stupid things you said and did last night. Once you've processed all of that and have already started to mentally remove yourself from the ones you love, you're ready to change your name, move to a different town and just leave your life behind. And nothing says I've got my shit together like bright red lipstick at 10am. Now's the time to order all the food in the world. When it gets to you, make sure you put it in another room because the smell of it alone is going to make you want to hurl. Before we move on to hair, we're going to take two coding pills just to keep functioning as a person. Hair is a lost cause. There is no help for you. It's probably filled with whatever you were drinking, whatever your friends were drinking, and whatever that obnoxious guy on the table opposite was drinking. You can go two ways here. Cut it off or hide it. Next step is to embrace the codeine high, making you feel like the world is good and fair, and just ignore all other responsibilities for the rest of the day. I'm instantly regretting actually being hungover for this video, like this was a big mistake. I'm just gonna start shaking visibly, but play, just gonna play along with that, that's, that will work. <laughs> 